Hi parents, just want to do a really quick tutorial on accessing the resources that we've given you through your homework assignments and your schedule. When you log into Think Central on your student account, this is what you're going to see um, when you open things up. And we're going to be working out of the My Library section that's here. So when we click on that, you're going to see two tabs. This one lit up here is the math section. And down here, if you click on reading, all of the reading resources will pop up. And that's to get um, the read alouds in the big books. Um, there are also some leveled readers that you have access to, um, the Alpha Friend cards. There's tons of resources in here that you can kind of look through. Um, I had a specific question on the math. So someone was asking about the interactive um, videos. So when you come in here, this is the math library. These are the math on the spot videos. These are the ones that have the professors, the people and the puppets talking. And then you also have your student book that you can access the pages here digitally. Um, and this is the student edition. That's the interactive edition. So this is the one that has the little videos with Murray Mouse. This is what we've called Murray Mouse in our class. We are on chapter five edition. So you click here and then if I were to click, um, let's just say less than 5.2, this is what would start up and you have to be careful because sometimes the together. video is not on. So this is the essential question that starts out the lesson and you can click start and it will start the digital lesson that's interactive for your students. Hi there. It looks like it's a special day at the petting zoo. Wow, I like that balloon. Hmm, there's only one purple balloon here. Can you help me find some more? Click the purple balloon. So here's where we get into the interactive part portion of it. So your children can come in and click and continue with the interactive portion of the lesson. Wow, lesson. now there are three red balloons here too. What if we put all the balloons together? They'll make a nice bunch. But how many would there be? I think we may need some help to find the answer. Come on, let's find out what we need to do. It's always guided here with the arrows so you can go back to something that they've done previously or you can Susan move forward. Susan has some counters. She has five yellow counters. And she has two red counters. So you can find that for any of the lessons that we are doing um, to start off edition. We're not going too deep into it, but there's also review on any of the previous lessons that we've covered in class. Actually, addition and subtraction are the last two that we're doing this year. So this is going to be the new information, but everything in the past is also available here. If you have any questions, go ahead and text me in Remind and I can help you out further. Thanks so much.